Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By The Farm. And today, oh, I'm celebrating 10 minutes of sunshine. The weather over the last few days has been absolutely atrocious. It has been very, very windy and the rain has come down and down and down. And I thought, <laughs> as the sun has now come out, I would come out to the garden and have a little bit of a look to see uh, what damage there is, but also to see what's growing. First week in December and the raspberries are really starting to look quite mushy now, although there's the odd one or two mm, that are doing really well. They're not very sweet and they're not very juicy at this time of year, but they still taste the raspberries. This globe artichoke uh, seems to be doing really well, but I do know uh, that when the frost hits hard uh, this is going to get damaged so I'm going to bring some duck bedding and get it all around the base and uh, this one here is an offset now I could I could lift that and plant it separately but I'm going to leave it I'm quite happy for this uh, to get quite big I'm going to give it the protection uh, because there were several in this bed and this is the only one survived after our very cold winter last year. I've got one other offset piece uh, in a pot uh, out by the house. Um, so if this did, if we did lose this, I would still have one, but I'd rather have more. The kale plants under this netting are still doing really well. Uh, we will start eating these <laughs> fairly soon. And what we don't eat uh, will then go to the chickens. And in this bed, uh, we've got lots of last year's strawberries. Uh, they've sent out an awful lot of runners. Um, and if you're in my Facebook group and I, I promised you runners, they will come. Uh, they're still here. They haven't gone somewhere else. Uh, I just haven't got around to uh, cutting them off and sending them out yet. Uh, but it means the ones that you do get uh, will have fabulous roots on them. In the cabbage tunnel here, uh, most of those cabbages are either over uh, or they have uh, been eaten by slugs. I will be able to rescue uh, the leaves and the hearts from several of them and the rest obviously uh, will go to the chickens. Uh, masses and masses of beautiful uh, chard here. I was watching Tony uh, C. Smith, uh, his video where he has uh, cut his right down to the ground now. Our weather uh, hasn't quite got coals enough and these aren't damaged enough to worry about that. The outer leaves and guess what <laughs> they're going to go to the chickens uh, and the younger leaves as they appear uh, we will be eating and i've also noticed that tucked away uh, in the corner there uh, is some parsley now, this is self-sown um, and i've got it in, <laughs> i've got bed after bed of parsley uh, where it's sown itself uh, it's great stuff lovely lovely taste to it Uh, this is the bed that had my runner beans in it, so they could be the ones that have been cut off uh, about six inches above from the ground. Um, and I'm slowly covering over the weeds with cardboard and putting duck bedding on that as well uh, to keep them cosy for the winter. Ah, carrots and swedes, which I'm still harvesting. Leeks and broccoli, again, still harvesting. Uh, this is my purple sprouting broccoli. This won't be ready until uh, after Christmas, so I'll still have some food then. Uh, more strawberries. And this bed, <laughs> this bed has gone a bit mad. Uh, <laughs> it's covering uh, both pathways, each side of it with babies, with runners. Uh, I really, really need to get that sorted out. Uh, and this end bed uh, has got our asparagus in it. So next spring will be the first year that I'll feel like we can cut uh, a few asparagus spears and the other thing we have in this bed uh, is some ochre. Uh, likewise uh, asparagus and ochre and some raspberries. All of our parsnips are in here and our Asturian tree cabbage there. Again lovely cabbage leaves, fabulous taste. Uh, they've done really well. Uh, this is the bed that had the Greek Gigantes beans in it. So again the beans have been cut off and they've been put to bed for the winter. This bed uh, just had bags of compost in it with some squash growing in them 
uh, it's now it's now got soil in it uh, it's got duck bedding in it so hopefully next year I can actually start planting in it and there's a void bed here and the bed uh, just here uh, that had broad beans in it and then it had some squash in it and it's now got my overwintering onions in it I had hoped that today I'd be able to bring you uh, my 10 best small UK gardening channels but I'm still waiting uh, for copyright permission from a couple of the channels to uh, feature some of their material until I've got that uh, I'm not going to pop the video out so please bear with me uh, but it will be on the way very soon and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and also hope you'll join me again next time <laughs>